Hey everybody, I'm Roy Canning. I'm Scott. I'm Violet. And this is Favorite, Favorite Game, Game Friday. Friday. This week we're talking all about parts of the hobby that are not necessarily actually playing the board game, but what is your favorite part of the hobby? Maybe it's putting together the games or collecting the games or painting the miniatures. What's your favorite part of the hobby that is not actually part of the hobby? And let's get to the contributors clips. My favorite part of the board game hobby that's not actually playing games is painting the minis. And here are some of my favorite minis that I've painted for board games. I don't play any miniature games, but I love bringing to life these minis in board games. I'm currently here in Hawaii, and one of the things I like to do that's board game adjacent when I'm not playing board games is to write about board games. I really love this hobby and I really love telling people about it on my blog. I love writing about the games that I love. Hello everyone, I'm the other Josh. Today we're talking about favorite aspects of the board game hobby. And I wanna talk about two today. Uh, the first being artwork. Um, one of my favorite things about board gaming is all the art. Uh, the wonderful art by fantastic creators and artists from across the world. Um, Kyle Farron is one of my favorite artists. He's the, the house artist for Leader Games. And this is one of my favorite uh, pieces of his artwork. Um, I just absolutely love the cover for the River Folk expansion for Root. That's the first thing I like. The second thing uh, is rule books. I really love reading uh, rule books, uh, learning a rule set, and trying to internalize it uh, so that it's easier when I am teaching the game and having to explain it. Uh, I just love going over things and over things and over things to make sure I understand the game so that uh, I can more easily teach people when it comes time to do that. Hope you're all having a fantastic Friday and I'll see you later. Hi everyone. My favorite aspects of board gaming is to unseal, unwrap a new game and just punching it out, organizing it into components, I mean compartments or putting it into Ziplocs and even sleeving them. I just find it so fun and meditative. So that's it. Bye everyone. Hey everybody. One aspect I enjoy about the board gaming hobby is the collecting and the collecting of games that nobody's ever heard of. Like this one right here, which I believe translates to Bear Mountain and it's got some uh, pretty interesting art there. Um, and there's Owl About, which is like an owl themed trick taking game. Um, and I have Faux Tomes, at least I think that's how it's pronounced. Or you're building like a city out of these cardboard like standees and you have to take a picture of it with your uh, with your cell phone. And uh, then I have Snowball Zombies here which is a game where uh, there's some kids at the top of a hill and there's some zombies that are coming up and you got to push snowballs down uh, to stop them. So yeah, I enjoy that. Like the aspect that I uh, I like this uh, of the board gaming hobby that's not actually like playing the games that that aspect that I like most is is actually making these videos because it, it it's a lot of fun making something like silly or and like enjoyable to other people. Yeah, well, we have a good time doing that too. So, all right, happy Friday, everybody. Bye. Hey guys, this week's topic is stuff that we like to do within the board game hobby, but it's not about playing the game. So for me, it's gonna have to be box organizers. I really do like making them. Um, after you make such a nice little organizer for your games, it really makes your game stand out, especially when it comes to cleanup, when you know you have a lot of stuff for it. As you can see right here for my Cosmic and Dead of Winter, it really picks things up for us. So I really like it. Now I will have one little gripe and that will be with Meeple Realty. They did send me an email and they said it many times on their stuff that they were going to make their other next part of the organizer and I'm still with boxes because they never made an organizer for the other stuff. So Meeple Realty, I'm calling you out for this one. Where's my other organizer parts for Scythe? Well, until next time, guys. Happy Friday, everybody. This week, we're talking about what we love about board games that isn't actually playing the game. Well, I enjoy the thrill of the chase, going around looking at charity shops, trying to find a bargain for pennies. More often than not, I'm unsuccessful. I go in there and it's only game of life and seen it. But every so often, I discover Pandemic for £2.50. I find a Back to the Future car game for a pound. I think you got Chameleon for three pounds. Bargains all around. And often, because you're paying so little for games that often retail for £40, I find we take risks on games you wouldn't have considered. 
and that means often we found a game we didn't even think we'd enjoy and we get to try it out and if, if it hasn't worked out for us, oh well, it's only a few pounds. Well, what I really love is whether they've come from a charity shop or from, you know, my friendly local game store. When new games come in, I get to rearrange my shelves and there is no sense of how these are arranged. They sometimes go by the box colour, the box size, what theme is in the game, what publisher has done it. I just sort of have this mishmash of how they're organised and I get to redo that every time something new comes in. I really enjoy getting a game together. It's really awesome when you get that brand new game and open the shrink wrap for the first time and are looking at all the components and punching it out, especially if it's a game that you've been anticipating for a really long time. Assalamu alaikum. My favorite aspect of board games other than playing them is actually making story-based campaigns for them. And I've made a lot of them, which you can check on the link below that comes on the screen. I like to add content to them. I like to add stories to them so that I get to keep playing them over and over again with my family because they get interested and hooked in these stories that I make that, okay, what's going to happen next? Let's play the next mission. What's going to happen then afterwards? Even though I write them, but it's the uh, feeling of adventure for my family for which I wrote. And then I, of course, release these uh, story modes to the public as well on the file section so that everyone, whoever is looking for more uh, meat out of their games they can enjoy as well. So for my favorite aspect of board games is making story campaigns for them. That's it for me. Happy gaming. Happy holidays everyone. I'm Nathan and my favorite gaming related activity is definitely watching videos on my favorite YouTube channel The Dice Tower and my favorite series on The Dice Tower Favorite Game Friday and I never skip the ads. But seriously my favorite gaming adjacent activity is definitely reading rule books. There's no better way for me to get acquainted with a game without having to, of course, buy it or play it myself than to read a rule book. And Board Game Geek has many rule books available that I can just read them on my phone throughout the day whenever I have a little bit of downtime. Reading rule books. Hey friends and gamers, it's Frenchie and on this Favorite Game Friday we're talking about what's our favorite aspect of the board game hobby that's not about gaming. Actually, it's my scally caps. Well, actually, let's do something a little more relatable to you all. It's discovery and what is that? It's going into these games and tearing open the shrink and going ahead and punching everything out. It's a discovery of what's new, what's been designed, how does this game fit together in playing it and that discovery of each new game. Then the other part of discovery is you all discovering new people through social media through the Dice Tower, through conventions, and through gaming groups that we have in our own area. That, to me, is my favorite aspect of the hobby. Love you all, and until next week, take care and play nice. Kimberly from Tabletop Tolson here, and my favorite part of the gaming hobby that's not actually playing games is painting the minis. Yeah, this is something I find really cathartic, and I just find it such a wonderful creative outlet. Plus, after you paint them, you get to play with them. What about you, Mark? Right, 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 right. Well, for me, Kim, not cathartic to sit and paint minis all day. I would rather punch out all the cardboard pieces and put things in bags and organize the box. It's always awesome to think about the different parts of the hobby that you really enjoy. Even the parts that aren't necessarily playing the game, but getting ready to play the game and all the different aspects of board gaming. Make sure to leave in the comments down below your favorite aspect of the hobby that is not just playing the game. And make sure to check out our contributors from all around the internet. And there's contributors of all different shapes and sizes that join on Favorite Game Friday. If you want to be a part of Favorite Game Friday, check out the Google Drive link down below. You can join us for next week, which is going to be, these guys picked it out, it's going to be games that kids can play. Yeah! That also adults enjoy playing with them as well. So you can get the whole family involved. What's your favorite game that enters into that category? Make sure to put that a super short video in the drive down below and you can be a part of next week's favorite game Friday. Well, thanks so much for joining us and, and we'll see you on yeah, the next one. Bye! Bye!